Walker. Today is the day here in Knoxville. Voters in the city deciding who will be the next leaders here. The polls opened at 8 o'clock this morning. They will stay open until 8 o'clock tonight. Now you can cast your ballot for four city council seats and of course to decide whether Eddie Manis or India King Cannon will replace Madeline Rojero as the next mayor. We begin our team coverage right now. WATE 6 on your side reporters Blake Stevens and Don Dare standing by. We start right now with Don Dare. Don, you were live in West Knoxville as voters are still showing up at this hour, right? Yeah, they sure are here at Bearden High School. So far, 500 people have voted, and as I look back there, there are several people in line waiting to vote. You know, back in August 27th, Eddie Manis came in first place in the primary, but he did not receive 50% of the vote plus one to avoid a runoff, thus today's runoff. You know, and during the last two months, Eddie Manis, a successful businessman who brought Honor Air flights to Knoxville, he's been campaigning seven days a week. And over the last year and a half of campaigning, Eddie Manis says he has learned a lot from the people that he wants to serve. I sense the passion that we in the city of Knoxville have to make Knoxville a better city. And, you know, I've, I've seen it all. When you, when you knock on as many doors as we have, you see it all and you take the good with the bad uh, and you realize that even the bad sometimes is just, just out of passion. People want Knoxville to be a great city. Now, Eddie Manis told me he has volunteers at every precinct in the city at this hour. 96 volunteers are out there, so he is not taking anything for granted in this election. And now to learn more about Eddie Manis's opponent, here's WATE 6 on your side reporter, Blake Stevens. Hey, Don. Yeah, we are at Gresham Middle School right now. About 370 votes cast here today, and we are seeing more and more people make their way to the polls. Uh, yeah, Team Ken Cannon feeling pretty good about tonight. They're really hoping their ground game over the last year helps bring them a victory tonight. Uh, and as Don mentioned, uh, Eddie Manis is, in his experience, is seen as primarily in the business sector. For India Ken Cannon, her experience has mostly been in public service. She's hoping, or she believes, her decade on the Knox County School Board and her three years working for Madeline Rojero's administration makes her the right fit for the job. Now, her campaign has been about creating strong neighborhoods and making an economy that works for everyone. She says, as mayor, she would prioritize issues like affordable housing and creating opportunities for lower income families in the city, enabling people to earn higher wages even. Ken Cannon pledging to be accessible if she is elected tonight. When I'm mayor, I'm not going to be like dictating from on high. This is what India thinks is best for the city. I'm going to listen to the people of the city and be informed and learn from the people who know best, who are closest to the issues, and that's people in our neighborhoods. Ken Cannon also saying if she wins tonight, she will work to make Knoxville a greener, more sustainable city. And uh, we'll be heading to Team Ken Cannon's watch party here shortly, but you still have just short of two hours to vote. And a reminder, if you are in line by 8 o'clock, you will have a chance to vote. We're live in Knoxville. Blake Stevens, WATE 6 on your side.